Hey guys, today I'm gonna share how I made these super cute bleach dye Mickey shirts. For supplies, you'll need cotton shirts. I found mine at Michael's, bleach, a spray bottle, an iron, a Mickey template, and freezer paper. Make sure it's freezer paper and not parchment or wax. I printed my template out onto cardstock. You can find these templates over on my blog and I will leave a link for that in the description. You'll want to cut them out and then trace them onto the matte side of the freezer paper. I used a Sharpie, traced the template, and then cut them out. Take your spray bottle and fill it with bleach. You're now going to iron the template onto the shirt. Make sure that the shiny side of the freezer paper is down towards the fabric and iron it on really, really well. You'll then want to put a piece of cardboard on the inside of the shirt so that the bleach doesn't saturate to the back side. You're now ready to start spraying. Turn your spray nozzle to a light mist and start spraying all around the template. You don't need a lot, so do a little bit of spray. Stop, let it dry a minute, and you'll see the effects really quickly, so you'll know if you want to add more. Then you're gonna to wanna to take a paper towel and just kind of dab any of the excess bleach off the template so that as it dries, it doesn't bleed through. I let my shirts dry about 10 minutes or so before peeling off the freezer paper. It should come off pretty easily, and you're left with this awesome design. I let them dry overnight uh, for about 24 hours before I then washed them in cold water. They turned out so great, and you can see kind of the differences between light spray, more spray, uh, my kids love them. You can see my son's shirt. He had a few drops. He wanted that effect. I love my black one and they turned out so cool. So now I'm just gonna share a few things of what not to do. Make sure your cardboard is just plain brown cardboard. The first time we tried it, we used a cereal box and the dye from the colors actually leaked through. It kind of did make a neat effect and I would be okay with it, but we had also oversprayed, tip number two, do not overspray, and we were left with a lot of bleeding and the Mickey shapes did not turn out. So less is more and you can always add more if you need to. But I was so happy with this project. I hope you will give it a try. Follow me over on Instagram at Scott Family Travels to see more Disney DIYs and for more info on this project. I share lots of Disney crafts and activities and recipes as well as lots of travel tips and organization. I'd love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.